What's up amigos, Commander Jaime here. This time I'm bringing you a Glory Maelstrom Ripple deck profile that's in premium. <laughs> uh, so uh, this deck profile is actually going to be based upon Glory Maelstrom and its skill. Um, so for those that don't know, if you counterblast one until the end of your turn, your opponent cannot intercept and can only call up to one card from his or her hand to Guardian Circle each battle. And then if you have a Maelstrom in the Sol, your units in the front row get 10,000 for the end of the turn, which is actually a very solid skill. And so really just thinking about it, is there a way to get that online as fast as possible, right? And so normally you would think that you had to write grade three a second turn, a second time, excuse me. And now thinking of other cards that could put cards into the Sol, such as like the Maelstrom copies, then you have Odysseus, and you have even Elder Moss over here on the right. Uh, so kind of like just building this deck upon that concept to see if we could actually abuse that skill. Not only that, but have it accessible as early on as possible too. And what's really cool about this, um, somebody else actually had this idea and had a more ripple based deck revolving around this. And they have it around and they actually made me realize that the skill is actually just applied, not really on the Vanguard, but as the player. So, for example, if you stride with Sabriz or if you re-ride with Odysseus after applying his skill, you still have the skill for the whole turn, <laughs> which is pretty bonkers if you really think about it. Um, so what's kind of cool, like I said, if you're playing like the Grade 2 game for a long time, you can make sure you have the copy in the Soul, do Glory skill, and then do the Sabriz. And Sabriz would just give you a bigger Vanguard with a, an extra drive check, so you have triple drive, so that way you can utilize front triggers. Um, and then going into the stride turns, you have access to Disaster Maelstrom and Engulf, where both honestly benefit more from having at least one Maelstrom in the soul. Um, disaster will give you power to the front row to three units. Uh, so that turn is a lot better. And not only that, since you play fronts, that turn's even better with the front triggers. <laughs> Engulf too. Uh, Engulf has guard restriction actually. So on the fourth battle, when it attacks, your opponent can't car, um, cannot call guards to the Cardian Circle that are the gray less than one minus than the number of units in the soul. <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful. Anyway, so if you have one Maelstrom in the soul, one minus one equals zero, so your opponent can't guard with grade zeros or lower. And so with PG draws being a thing, they can PG in that sense. And then the second skill, it can flip something. And if you have two, two Maelstroms in the face up in the stride zone, then you get plus crit and plus five. <laughs> so, it actually can be a threat with that, and so you just have that access to outside of Alexandros, Lambros, Valeos, and all that kind of stuff. So really this deck profile is more of that combo base, just getting this guy in, and then of course just abusing it with other cards. And there's going to be more to it, so let's, let's just get started. Also just to mention, with the deck profile that I mentioned, I will actually provide a, a link to it in the description, so that way you can check that player's out. Uh, you'll see the difference between his deck and our, and my deck as well. And you'll see his is more ripple focus, where mine is not so much ripple focus. And I kind of like do a comparison as I go too. <laughs> I thought I mentioned that. But anyway, let's start with the great zeros anyway. Uh, for the starter, it's to draw one on ride basically. Uh, you could play Alex, which is the ripple great starter, uh, great zero starter. And for me, the ripple ride chain isn't important. So I would rather have the draw one just to help to get other combo pieces. So for example, if you wanted to get your Glory Maelstroms as early as possible, or some of the other like Odysseus or Elder Moss, Tidal Assaults, and all that kind of stuff, well, I'd rather see that than actually just, you know, fixing the right chain. So that's really with that reasoning. Um, you can change it up, that's up to you. Now with the trigger lineup, there's no crits, so it, it's a little different from what I'm used to. Um, going with the front triggers, Honestly, the Gory Maelstrom just thrives on front triggers, so I wanted to kind of like maximize that so that turn is even more um, better, right? <laughs> uh, so front triggers going a long way. And I really wanted to up the count too, and I also realized that if I'm going to be a little bit aggressive in the early game, if I draw check a heal or damage check it, I'm probably not going to heal. And so I reduced one heal to three and then added another front trigger. And then I felt like I can take one PG draw away and just do with three. And then I added the next front trigger. So I have 10 fronts, three draws, and three hills. So yeah, so far it's actually been working out for me. Um, it does depend on the field that you have. So if you have like no field, or you maybe just have a re-standard, that turn isn't as great as it used to be if you draw trick a crit. 
but if you have a good amount of front row, um, at least two or three units, those front triggers actually come in play. And then of course, defensively, if you drive uh, damage checked it, then your units also get the buff too, so it's harder for them to kill your rear guards in that sense. So yeah. Now for the great ones, this actually gets a little more fun. So uh, Odysseus is the one that basically can put a Maelstrom into the soul. Um, one of the cool things is that basically when you ride Ray 3 turn, you just call this to rear guard and then shove it up to soul. And then you can choose up to one ripple and ride it as Stan. So you can choose zero actually. So that essentially will give you a minus one, but at, at that point you actually just shove <laughs> a, a Maelstrom into the soul. And now Glory can actually utilize its full effect, right? So you can use that. And then if you have a second Odysseus, or you haven't used it and you already got this guy into the soul, you could just rewrite and then do like a Legion turn as well. So when you do the Skillful Glory, you can also do the Legion turn on top of that, and your Legion will have the actual, um, the plus 10 and then the no intercepts and only one card to guard with kind of thing. <laughs> so it makes the Legion turn pretty good actually on top of that. Um, one of the cool ways that I like to utilize with Wheel of Assault is that basically when you ride up to grade 2, or even if you ride up with a grade 1 using Odysseus, um, you proc its skill, right? You kind of last one, you draw one, and then you call something. It doesn't specify a grade, so what you can do is actually call a copy of the Glory Maelstrom, and then from then you can actually just have Odysseus shove it up to Soul, and then you can rewrite a Ripple, like Sotorio, for example, if you're still in grade 1, or you can go into Pathroth. So that way you don't actually minus one. And you got glory into the soul that way. So you got that job done. <laughs> uh, not only that, you're filtering too, non-trigger. Uh, Wheel of Salt, of course, gives you the advantage as well. And then, of course, you can swap at, you know, units at the end with like a cell circles abuse and all that kind of stuff. So it helps with that synergy as well. So four and four, essentially. And then the one tutorial just to be able to access that rewrite during that grade one just to filter out. And then, of course, not minus one, essentially. So... Yeah, and so with the Commissar and the Corellia are kind of like the text, the supports. Um, I felt like if your third and fourth battles can be a little bit better, Commissar helps with that regard, especially, um, I'm playing with the OG title. So if you're going to attack with your Vanguard first to get front triggers, so you could apply that to your rear guards, you're probably going to want the OG title rather than the V title, because V title is going to get the minus 5k immediately if it's not the first battle. So there's that. <laughs> but with Commissar... Now you can make the title restand minus 5k kind of ne like negated. So it helps with that. And then of course it helps push us with numbers sometimes. Uh, for example, if you have a 9k grade 2 with an 8k booster, it makes 17. Glory skill will make it to 27k. Now with the plus 5 from Calm Assault, it makes it 32. So you're past that 28 um, and 32 beautiful numbers that if you're going against Excel Protect, and then for the force, the 28 and the 33, of course. But there's other cards that are slightly bigger, such as like the Elder Moss, which is a 10k base, which will hit the 30, uh, 33k mark. <laughs> so it helps in that regard. Uh, Corellia is something that I've been playing with, so I just wanted to have access to be able to search for a Maelstrom somehow, even in the early game. And so the closest thing we got to this is basic Corellia. And you discard a grade 3 as cost, and you search for the original Maelstrom name card. Now you have three options. You have literally the OG Maelstrom, the Break Ride Maelstrom, or the new V series Maelstrom. And so uh, my recommend recommendation is playing the, the V series one. And then um, I'm trying the Break Ride um, right now. And you can do a Break Ride combo that I'll go into as well once I cover him. But I think the Excel Circle V series Maelstrom is probably the way to go. <laughs> so if you decide to use the Corellia, I would recommend the Excel one. Otherwise, uh, do something else at that point. But yeah, so that's really the grade ones. So let's start with the grade twos. Now for the grade twos. Uh, so like I said, I went with OG title. I wanted to play him at form because he's just a really good unit. Good in the early game, good in the mid game, and good on that glory turn essentially. So that way you have a re-center to abuse the glory skill and of course the front trigger. Um, then we have uh, Elder Moss. So I wanted to have another card be able to just have a Maelstrom into the Sol besides Odysseus. And Elder Moss comes to mind, essentially. So his skill, kind of blast one, choose a card with Maelstrom in the name from your drop zone, and then put it into your soul, and then it gets power plus four, and can attack from the back row as well. So it its cost really gets the Maelstrom into the soul, and that's really what I cared about the most. Yes, it gets a, a beef up power up, which actually can be good too, <laughs> because it becomes like a 14k, um, and then if you have a boosted with a, a 7k or 8k, 
along with the um, comma salt, you start hitting magic numbers, <laughs> essentially. And it's a solid unit, 10k base, so um, if you ride as grade 2 and you really don't have the Odysseus, then you have a solid 10k base. Um, you do have to reveal a Maelstrom, which honestly is pretty easy to do, especially if you mulligan and you already have one on the back, or you can just um, play with it, essentially. And then it's also good in, when you're striding because then you can actually make Disaster or Engulf live at that point. So if, like, for example, you had to ride this guy and then you literally just drew the other one and you don't have really the Odysseus and you felt like the, the stride option is better, you can, like, pitch it to stride, stride over this, and then use this guy to grab that card and put it into Sol that way. So that works that way as well. Um, solid card. I like our Elder Moss. I like his art too. So it, it synergizes well. Now, the other ones are kind of like the support. Um, Algos, Coral Support, and um, Coral, so I mean, and Pathroth. So with um, Algos is really nice because it's another re-standard. Um, the one thing I don't like is that he has to be the first battle to re-stand in general. So it kind of conflicts with that turn, and so you only get one battle from it that actually could benefit from a front trigger. Um, but in the engulf turns or any other stride turns like Veleos or even Alexandros <laughs> and Lambros and all that kind of stuff, he shines in that area. So he's still playable. Honestly, um, I've been tempted to reduce it to two and then up Coral Salt to two. So that way I can see Coral Salt to a decent play. Uh, Coral Salt, again, is a beater. Really good for the Glory Maelstrom turn. So I feel like maybe going to two will be the best option. Um, but he still has his uses at one or two. So definitely recommend playing Coral Salt just because he's a beat stick. Maintains advantage and he provides soul if you really need to, especially for Calm Assault. So that helps in that regard. And then the Path Rob is really having the option to just abuse Odysseus on grade 2 and actually just kind of like maintain advantage. And then you can uh, finagle your way out and deck then. So yeah, that's pretty much for the grade 2s. Grade 3s. Now this is where it gets kind of interesting. Obviously the focus is Gloria Maelstrom and I just wanted an extra Maelstrom name to just be able to shove into Soul. Um, so that's why I said, like, you know, if Corellia can be used to get, like, a Maelstrom from the deck on Will, then that would be great. Um, right now I'm trying out the Break Ride. Um, so <laughs> one neat thing that I actually did on CFA was actually we played a early game that went pretty long. So we were at high damage, and at that point none of us were riding Grade 3, and I had the Break Ride. And I was just realizing, I'm like, wait, why don't I just ride the Break Ride and then use Odysseus to actually ride um, Miltiades, right? And so literally, I was at 4 damage or 4 or four or 5 damage, rode this guy, did uh, Odysseus to ride him on that same turn. I got the break right off, and Miltiades is like plus 10. Um, and then he got the skill where basically it's a guard restriction, right? If it's the fourth battle that the Vanguard attack, then your opponent can't guard with great zeros. And at that point, it's like, wow, that's kind of like engulf where they can't use the PG draw. So that kind of provided some value, and it made your Vanguard a little bit bigger. Um, but... I would probably just stick to the Excel V series Maelstrom, just for a, you know it seems a little more consistent or easier with that unit. But honestly, like I said, Glory Maelstrom is the focus, so you won't have to ride this guy. He's just there just for another Maelstrom name that you can just shove into Soul by Odysseus or Alder Moss and someone. Yeah. <laughs> now for the Ripples, so Metiatis and then of course Genovius. I, I wanted room, so I only did the two Mitiatis and one Genovius um, before I've done three and two. Uh, like I said, this is not really Ripple focus. It's more on glory and then just using Ripple cards to kind of help that. Uh, with the Mitiatis, it's it's really good when you do the Legion in the sense of you doing the skill and then writing this with Odysseus. Legion, you shove back any triggers that you might have got to the drop zone. Uh, especially front triggers, and then you just shovel them into deck and then grab Genovius, so you deck then at that point. And then he, on attack, can also restand one of your units, so you can get an extra attack that way. So it, it can be a really good turn, especially since the Legion turn for Ripples is pretty good. So combining this with Glory Skill, and then adding basically a front trigger, it, it's a really good turn. <laughs> so yeah. And then Genovius is really there just for the the Legion. You're not going to ride him. You're not going to have the second one to do the, the Limit Break skill. That really doesn't come up often, so I felt like it wasn't worth it. And I'd rather have a spot for a grade 2 or a grade 1 that I could use consistently, to be honest. So, yeah, let's go into the strides. So, on to the strides. So, like I said, Disaster and Engulf are something that you could actually use. Since, since Glory actually has the Maelstrom name, so that way your heart is Maelstrom. And like I said, 
with Disaster, you could actually do a solid first stride with him, and he doesn't cause a counter blast, so that's kind of key. So that way you conserve your um, CB for glory if needed, or other units like Elgos. And his skill will actually fetch a Maelstrom from the drop, oh, not from the drop, from the deck. And so you decked in that way, and then you have a Maelstrom copy in your hand. So if you really want to shove it into Soul with Odysseus the next turn, you can. Or you can just rewrite and get an additional Excel circle, whether it be Excel 2 or Excel 1. It's up to you at that point. It's really how you play that out. So you have that option. And then, of course, you can also use it for Stride Fighter for next turn. And then if you have the Maelstrom already in Soul, you get the additional 5k to 3 front units. So this with front triggers also makes a solid choice um, for a stride. You can have like a title of Soul and an Excel circle and then have some kind of column and it actually is decent numbers. Um, with Engulf, it kind of complements that because Engulf skill requires two Maelstroms face up when you do the second skill to get the plus five in the crit. So you would have the two Maelstrom already so you could flip like a Sabris because you didn't use it and then just be like, I'm crit. <laughs> and then the fourth battle skill is actually just live and it's free. It's just that the Vanguard has to attack the fourth battle. And then your guard restriction will just depend on the number of Maelstroms you have in the soul. And honestly, having one, you're pretty good. <laughs> And then to basically complement that, you have Lambros. Um, you know, Lambros is a good uh, option if you got enough attacks going in and uh, if you're short on Counter Blast too. Uh, or it's your second stride or your G guarded and then going to Lambros so that way you can be conservative on Counter Blast or however you want to play it out. You have the Alexandros, which is a beater as the turns go by. So pretty much your Alexandro turns are really good still. Especially if you have cards like Tidal Assault or any other cards like Coral Assault too, to make it even a threatening turn, essentially. Valeos is the option where you might have to do a Valeos turn just to maintain advantage and also just like do some pressure. I felt like Valeos is kind of like that middleman, but it also depends on the cards that you have. So that way you can actually call them, do something, and at the same time draw a good amount of advantage. And you want to make sure you do it when you have a face-up card, so that way you can actually get that 11k base lock on your opponent, and actually just go ham that way too. And then what's kind of cool is because he calls a new field essentially when he attacks, if you get front triggers, all those units will get it. So that's pretty cool. And then of course you got Megiddo and Sabriz. Megiddo is there for the ultimate stride, it may come up. Um, it's up to you if you needed an ultimate stride or not, or maybe you got Drachma and you need to come back. <laughs> Um, and then of course Sabriz, like I said, if they're playing the grade 2 game, you can do the Glorious um, Maelstrom skill and actually just Sabriz them, right? And you you have the, the full effect and you can just have triple drive and um, I don't think we have any GB units, so that GB uh, active doesn't really matter, but triple drive, bigger Vanguard, why not? If you have the Counter Blast, of course. So that's the strides. Let's go into the G-Guards. Ionis is actually really good because you will have some kind of field. So he may come up and you would just use him. Um, the one thing that I would just be caution is because he counter blasts and we don't have the counter charge shield. So you just be aware of your counter blast at that sense. But you could always flip a Gaphelia and then your next turn you could just soul blast, flip down the Gaphelia and then counter charge. So that's one way to mitigate that. Gaphelia is good for that reason, as like I mentioned. And then of course some Guardian Shield for the specific battles. And then of course the same thing with Ice Barrier. First battle, it's a bigger shield, and then fourth battle or more, it's a bigger shield as well. So it's for that, really, the option. Honestly, it's just one of those combo decks that I just kind of want to mess around with Aqua Forest. It's pretty, it's pretty fun with that respect of just having the ability to, to kind of like just utilize Glory Maelstrom in that respect. Um, you could always take a, uh, tweak around the units just to make it more consistent. You could always go the six front, six draw or you can just replace the front with the, the crits. But at that point, with the, the crits and the fronts, that's it's really the debate with the Glory Maelstrom turn. <laughs> but if you want to make it more consistent, I would definitely up the draw count in that sense. And you could always play with different grade threes. If four Glories are just enough, then you can just drop the Brick Ride, or not the Brick Ride, but the other fifth Maelstrom name, essentially. And then you could just focus on a different grade three, maybe um, like Hydra or Hurricane Dragon or Naval Gazer or the MNTs or or more Ripples, right? And so you could just play around, tweak it to however you like it. Uh, I just wanted to show it off. Like I said, there is another deck profile that somebody had a more focus on Ripples with just slapping Glory in there. Um, I will put, put the, this, <laughs> the link to the description so you guys can check that out too. And you can actually see the differences between that. They played more... Uh, grade 2 Ripple, Grade 1 Ripples, and even the starter. So you can see it's more of a Ripple deck in that sense. I hope you enjoyed the deck profile, guys. 
I'm definitely looking forward to the new Aqua Force stuff, especially since the return of uh, basically the Vallejo's character. I think his name is Ruga. Uh, but Blue Wave may be on the horizon. <laughs> so definitely excited for that. So I might be tweaking or messing with Blue Wave again. So definitely keep on the lookout for that. Um, I know it's been a while since I put out any Aqua Force stuff. So I figured I'd put out something like this. And then with the new stuff coming out, I'll put out some videos that, you know, what are my first thoughts on the units. And then, of course, come up with a deck, pro deck profile once we actually get the full set. All right, guys. Leave a like, comment down below, share, and subscribe. See ya. Signing out.